Greetings, Legionists. Arndelft and... Excellent pudding. Here, and we are going to open up the Prophecy of the Wolf box, where Excellent Pudding will be getting, uh... The Orcs. Wah! And I'll be getting Ragnar and the Space Wolves. Ooh. So, I guess I'll tear it from this side, and you can tear it from that side. Uh. Alright, plastic is off. Get off. And what do we have in here? Oh, first thing I see is a bunch of orcs. Oh, this is definitely Ragnar. Yeah, this is Ragnar right here. Yep. Bases. A lot of bases. Bases. We're going to have to figure out. Oh, this is definitely Gorguts. Oh, yeah. That I don't know what else would have that huge of a base in here. Yep, this is... Isn't it Gazgul, not Gorguts? Is Donald, oh, right? gosh. Oh, yeah. Terra. Yeah, Gazgul. Doesn't, doesn't have I know there's a bunch of people right now going, <laughs> whoa, 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 who? Yeah. So like, this ain't no Dawn of War. Yeah, no, that's um, Yeah, there's his body. I wish Gorguts had a freaking uh, model. Base, scenic. Oh, that's the scenic, in case you don't actually... It's put... like a... I, I, don't, I mean, it goes on his base, but it's not... It's like he stands on this platform. Yeah, I was about to say, even this base would be... Huge. I don't oh, know. No. His face is probably under everything. Oh. Yeah, that's probably right. So these are Mega Knops? Maybe? Yeah, I think they're boxy. Yeah. Alright. Man, look at Ragnar's cloak, which he made out of the first wolf he ever killed. Which was before he was technically actually a space wolf. He was in transformation at the time. And it was wounded. It was a wounded wolf, but still. Okay. Oh, I think I finally got down to Space Marines. I mean, well, Space Wolves. Um, I don't think, see any Orcish parts on here. So, man, some of these look weird. Look at that. It's missing a chunk from the gun. Yeah, it's because they're, like, easy to fit uh, figures, so they're only put together, like, one way. Interesting. So if you're looking to mod it, good luck. <laughs> well, I'll, think, I'll cross that road when I burn it. This looks like more Mega Knob parts and Mega Knobs. Hand close combat weapons. Man, that looks vicious. They're like freaking scissoring. See, I don't know if this is like a new kit or if they had a kit before. So obviously, if anyone, my work collection is just basically boys. <laughs> I've got, you got some a few knobs. Cans. Yeah, so I've got enough for like a whole squad of knobs. But I've got a lot of shooter boys, a lot of stab boys, three like. Orc bosses. Yeah, you got a few of those. I've got a plane. Uh, I don't know what plane, but I got a plane. I think you have a doom buggy. I do. Yeah, so this will be good. <laughs> yes, this will give... Uh, do you think this will get your orcs up to a, a level where uh, you can be more competitive with them? I think it might get me up to 2,000, but not a whole lot of options. That's true, and if you don't have options, then when a medic... a lot of troops. Out, Woo! Oh, yeah, this is Orc. Man, look at the size of that axe! Yep, this is definitely not Sprue. I know this one. Let's see, I think I found another Space Marine one. It looks a lot like the previous one, except, I don't know, maybe that was on the previous one. Um, but yeah, the, the, these will be... Uh, you don't have these, right? These are the Scout primaries people? Basically, yeah, and no, I don't have them. I don't know what they're called. What are they called? The, they have the phobias. Infiltrators. The phobias armor, Ph Phobos. Right? Phobos. Yeah, yeah, that thing. I think they're infiltrators. Yeah. These are definitely knobs. Big old body. Oh, yeah. They're huge. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And then we got this right here. If I can... Oh, my gosh. This is... Okay. So, it's a Warhammer 40K black and white, but then it's got that down. That just ruins it. Yeah. But then you flip it around, and it's in color, and yeah, that's awesome. And that's Gazgul, right? Yep. Am I saying his name right, Gazgul? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Big boy. Versus a Primaris, Ragnar Blackmane. So this is the art. Obviously, it's on the box. Okay. You want to know something? You want to know freaking something? What? Games Workshop deciding to have stupid custodies Tyvar, Shield Captain Tyvar, accuse a whole chapter of Primaris of heresy over something stupid. Okay, it's BS, whatever, fine. But if he did that with Ragnar, you know how fast... He'd be smacked to the ground. Ragnar, as a Primaris, Tyvar would have had his butt ripped off and handed to him on a silver platter. 
I don't know the story you're talking about, so there you go. You're not familiar with that? Nope. <laughs> like, uh, I think it was the Blazing Drakes or something like that. They're not a very well-known chapter. Well, that's why. GW caters some chapters, hates others. I know. I'm just saying, Space Wolves would have been like, I'm sorry, you're accusing us of what? Do you want to die? But we get our battle, the two guys, that's cool. And some, what, what's the planet? I, uh, it said wait. on the box. Or did it, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if it said it on the box. Wait, do I get a rule book with this? You get a rule book for like the missions you can play with just this army. Oh. And there's the base. Oh my Terra. Yeah. And is that a display base or No, this is the base he goes on. Oh my Terra. How is he big. ever supposed to hide? By the it's way, a big boy. Th this is a cat, you know. Gato! Gato! Terra Nids, get out of here. It's cat in Spanish. Yep. More than ten wounds, he can be shot from anywhere. Big boy. Oh my Terra. And this thing is Open it up! Yeah, yeah. Let's get this thing open. Come on. Your typical decals. I don't know. I personally haven't done these yet. I've tried to. And I, I tried to follow instructions and everything. It's heresy that I haven't even tried. I don't really care <laughs> about stickers. I run my own chapter anyway, so to put like chapter specific things on my stuff doesn't it, it doesn't bother me. So well, I just think some of the symbols are cool and Legionists will use iconography from every chapter. You know what? Legionists if they learn what the custodies did, could freaking troll, could freaking troll the Imperium by committing acts of, t of heresy in the name of chapters and just getting one stupid shield captain to declare multiple chapters is completely heretical. It only takes one stupid custodies who's too brain dead to realize the actions of a few don't condemn the many. And it just like, okay, looks fake being that... Hey, you get one of those. Oh, yeah. Well, technically, I, I already had one with the starting. So, uh, hold on. You do get a core rule pamphlet if you didn't have one before. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so I think this is... Oh, yeah, this is assembly instructions. So no. one of us is going to have to have that at first to assemble our stuff, and the other one's going to have to get it and then assemble theirs. Or you could probably cut it in half. I think it is cut in... Oh, yeah, it switches. Yeah, halfway through. Okay, there's only open. one page that... No, no, yep. So it splits right here. Okay, so we can just literally slice it in half. All right, so, uh, Lair of the Beast, Orc Space Wolves, an epic duel, cunning and brutal. So, introduction. In the Prophecy of the Wolf, the two forces battle through the scrap-covered cities of Krongar. As uh, Gazgul, uh, Thraka, and his orcs seek to establish the world as a base for further devastation... I mean, further devastating attacks. The Space Wolves, led by Ragnar Blackmane, deploy to terminate the mighty Greenskin Warlord for good. Yeah, I don't think that works out. Anyway. Um. Lair of the Beasts. Orcs. Space Wolves. An epic duel. The Blackmane Strike Force, Ice Fang, weathered the swells and storms of the Sea of Souls as the ships pressed towards Krongar. The psychic senses of the ship's astropaths and navigators strained through the tormented warp as they desperately sought to reach the origin of Ragnar Blackmane's final transmission. So, uh, I think it explains how he dies, probably, and how they oh, both die in a fight, and how, oh, wait. why he has to be put through the Rubicon. Oh, and that was when he got his head cut off by Ragnar, and then had got put on a new no, body. Got put on a new big glass body. Oh, so that's how that happened. Okay, yep. all right. Cunning and brutal. Legends die hard. In the minds of many orcs, the myth of Gazgal Thraka loomed almost as large as that of their warrior gods Gork and Mork. For their part, space wolves were torn between grief and desperate pursuit of arcane gene surgery, unsure if Ragnar Blackmane's saga was yet complete. And then data sheets. Um, oh, they're called incursors. 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 They... Oh, are they the fancy ones that don't have to, like, wound or something? If they hit, they wound you or something with their fancy guns? Mm -hmm. This unit contains one Incursor pack leader and four Incursors. It can additionally contain up to five Incursors, power rating five. Every model is equipped with bolt pistol, oculus bolt carbine, pair yep. of combat blades, frag and crack grenades. Every model has smoke grenades and the oculus bolt carbine. 
When resolving attack made with this weapon, the target does not receive the benefit of cover to its saving throw. Oh, that's all that does. Huh. Um, when resolving attack made with the paired combat blades, uh, an unmodified hit roll of six scores two hits instead of one. And they cool. get Haywire Mines. In your movement phase, one model from your army with a Haywire Mine that has not been primed can prime it. At any point during that model's move, place one primed Haywire Mine within one inch of it, more than three away from any enemy models, and more than six inches away from any other primed Haywire Mines. If an enemy model moves within three inches of that primed Haywire Mine, roll a d6. On a 2+, plus, the enemy unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. If that unit is a vehicle, it suffers d3 plus one mortal wounds instead. That primed Haywire Mine is then removed from play. And holy crap, that was a lot. Uh, the Prime Haywire Mine is represented by the Prime's Haywire model, but does not count as a model for any rule purposes. Oh, that's probably what... It's probably what this is? Yeah, that's probably, probably the, the Prime Haywire Mine. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, yeah. So it doesn't say that they, they like... Huh. Well, this. I know there is one that... I, I don't know. Well, I mean, we don't know any of the Primera stuff, to be honest. I know the regular squad... I know they have some fancy sniper squads. Oh, here's Ragnars. They have a bunch of fancy jump people. <laughs> okay, Warhowl. You can reroll charge rolls made for friendly space wolves, units other than vehicle units, if they are the sixes of the model when the roll is made. Jarl Fenris. Reroll hit rolls of one for attacks made by models in friendly space wolf units whilst they are the sixes of this model. Berserker Rage. When this model is affected by the shock assault ability, add three to the attack characters yeah, in the model instead of one. And with the changes to assault phase, I think space marine or space wolves are going to be the new Iron Hands. Uh, space puppies are just going to be like, oh, did you just buff the assault fa uh, buff us? Thank he, you. He can get to like ten attacks or something crazy is what I read in the article. Oh, when a friendly space wolves unit within six inches of this model and not within three inches of an enemy unit consolidates, it can move up to six inches instead of three. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um, and then, of course, there's the uh, Incursors. Uh, wait, this is Infiltrator. Are they Incursors or Infiltrator? Well, I confused. bet you can make either, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I can magnetize them so they can be either. But anyway. Or do you get both? Oh. You get two squads of something, so maybe you make one squad of each of five guys. Mm. Well, if I can magnetize the bits so that they can be either Let's or, see. I will. Yeah, so you get... It includes 23 miniatures, uh, Ragnar Blackmane, and 10 Space Marine Infiltrators. That's what the box says. I don't know if you can switch what they are. The Orcs get Gazgul Thraka, Makarai, I guess that's the rock guy with the banner. Oh. Five orc knobs, three orc mega knobs, one ammo rent, runt, and one grot oiler. Oh, you've never really had grots before, so this will be interesting. No. I think they're like one time use just to like be representative, though. Oh, Maybe. even that hero guy? Probably not the hero. I don't know what the hero guy does, but I think, yeah, I don't know. I haven't played orcs since the beginning of 8th. Yeah, it's been a while. So, I might be a little rusty on the, the rule. Just a little. But uh, anyway, um, and then Savage Hues of the Storm. But anyway, all right, so I'll let you go through that. All right, we've got the big boy. Gazgul Thraka. So we have the Great War. Friendly Orc infantry units within six inches of this model can be chosen to charge with, let's see. Can be chosen to charge with even if they advance this turn. In addition, add one to the attack characteristic of friendly orc infantry units while they're within six inches of this model. But he does not himself gain that ability, though, because oh. he is no longer considered infantry. Oh. He gained the monster keyword. Oh, de oh monster. Yep. Frag. Uh, Goff is the best. Reroll hit rolls at one for attacks made with melee weapons by models and friendly Goff orc units. Within six inches of his model. He's the prophet of Gork and Mork. This model has a four plus inborn save. In addition, this model can only lose a maximum of four wounds in each phase. And he has 12 wounds total. Uh, the boss is watching. When friendly orc units within six inches of this model fail morale test, this model can restore order in a brutal display of violence. If it does, this unit suffers D3 mortal wounds. 
and the morale test is treated as passed. And then he is the Grand War Boss. This model can be included in any orc detachment without preventing their units in the detachment from gaining the clan clutter. Note, however, that this does not benefit any clan, cl clan clutter or other clan culture selected from this. So he can be in any orc army. He doesn't ha it doesn't have to be whatever his clan is. Goth. So he can be in any without any cons. Correct. Cool. Yeah. All right, because he's from Goth, but you can choose Yellow Suns or the any other Speed kind. Freaks or the to have him in it. Cool. Oh, here's our little orc or the banner grot guy. Gasgul's War Banner. When this model is is in a friendly Goth orc unit within six inches, will lose a wound. And this model is within three inches of. Gaskul Thraka, roll a d6, on a 6, the, the, roll is, the wound is not lost. So he could literally inflict Savage, the brutal morale one, and, um, yeah, uh, the, the Grok could somehow prevent those wounds. Correct, if he's within 3 inches of the big guy. Gaskul. Yep. Keep it up! At the start of your movement phase, if the model is within 3 inches of a friendly Gaskul Thraka, Unit at two inches to this model's move characteristic until the end of turn, so he moves faster as long as he's with him. Uh, suspiciously lucky, this model has a two plus influence save. What? <laughs> Wait, the, the Grot? The Grot has a two of influence. The Grot! He's suspiciously lucky. No wonder! Okay, I was about to say, why does a Grot have the banner? He has four wounds, oh six up save, a two up invul. Six up save. An accidental figurehead. Friendly Goth Gretchen units can use this model's leadership instead of their own while they're with within twelve inches of him. Not regular orcs who are not inspired by him, but Grots. <laughs> hey man, Grot oh. Army, let's go. Okay, all right. You can make a big mech in mega armor. That was not included. Or are they just giving me new war scrolls? I bet you that's what it is. I bet this is an update to orcs. Cool. So yeah, you can now take, or I don't know if you could or could not take a Big Mac and Mega Armor, but his data sheet's included. The data sheet's For whatever there? reason, so I assume you'd have to use one of your Mega Noms in order to build him. Might be worth it. I'd have to look. And then we just got the normal pictures. At, same with the end of Space Marines. We've got a mission... Getting the scent. Space Wolves works. Another mission, Opportunity Strikes. To catch a wolf. To catch a wolf. And we have our point values. Alright. So, how many points do you think Ragnar is? I'm going to say he's in the 300 range. 460. Down. Oh, down. Okay, yeah. alright. I was yeah, like, down. is he more... Alright, 220? Down. 170. Down. What? Yeah. Uh, 110? Up. Okay. So, 120. Okay, alright. Including war gear. Alright, okay. Now, Thraka is 285. Okay, so I even went over with <laughs> Thraka. Is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> alright. So there we go. That's the book. Perfect. Well, um, I find this interesting. I'm eager to actually just do straight up the Space Wolves versus the Orcs. However, I think the Orcs will win. I think it's really true. I think Thraka is better straight up than uh, Black Mane. Yeah, than Black Mane. I think, and with the Mega Knobs, I think you'll win versus one squad of Incursors. But we'll see. Uh, well, I think you're supposed to take maybe two squads in these missions. I don't know. Well, the, it's like you can either separate them into squads of five or you right. can take one squad of ten, whatever. So unless, uh, what, what's his invul? I don't know. Mr. Space Marine guy. Probably a four-up. It'd be cool if it was a three-up. Four-up. He has the belt of Russ. And that's it. That's, and that's what's Gazgul's invul? Four. Okay, so they got the same, invul, but you got a grot that has a two-up invul. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Like a two-up invul, really? Because I don't ever roll ones. I mean, come on. Still. But we'll we'll uh, we'll figure it out. We'll do box on box and 
We'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, I am not optimistic about my chances, but we'll see what we happens. Have, we've done this before, and at least in the Chaos for Space Marines boxes, on two occasions, Black Dark Vengeance from 7th edition, yeah. Space Marines 1. Yeah. 8th edition, Nurgle versus Primaris. Again, you won tactically. I won, <laughs> but not... Not in the most brilliant fact. Uh, uh, no way. tactics or tactics. Sure, I was brilliant. Nurgle. He couldn't kill our units because disgusting resilience, and I won because I hit in a corner. Yeah, he literally uh, was like, "I'm getting tactical points from this point," so he just huddled all his units up there. The worst part was I recommended that course of action to him, and then he did it, and he wins. And I'm like, I need to know when to keep my mouth shut. But Space Marines should have won. Typically, I've noticed Space Marines are the stronger faction in these boxes. But I would be very surprised if I won this one. Like, I think my only chance is to keep him at range, which would be weird for Space Wolves. But I think that would be my only real chance to win. Because in Melee, I think Gazgul would mess up Ragnar. And those Mega Knobs would completely mess up the Incursors. I just don't Mm -hmm. see how... You can only do four wounds. He can only do four wounds maximum. Per phase. In per phase. And that's what gets past the invuln. Yeah. Which is a 50 That's what 50. gets past his regular save, his invuln save. Like... Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to have to see how that goes when we get there. But anyway, um... All right, I'm not sure there's anything else to cover. No. I think we're good. I, I uh, Let us know what you think. Yeah, and uh, we'll get these models assembled as quickly as we can, and then... Uh, uh, we're going to leave that up in the air as for painting. And not painted, because I'm yeah. not painting them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. People are going to be like, hey, what else are you going to do, huh? It's quarantine. Play games? Yeah, video games exist for a reason. Yeah. And you don't have to paint models in video games. Yeah, I, I'm just, I mean, I have my paints over here to the other side, but I, I have not been in the mood to paint. Uh, I admit I've been dragging my feet through the mire on that one, too. So don't expect them painted. Maybe yeah. primed. Yeah, prime. we can do prime. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you then. Thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, you have any thoughts or whatnot, leave them down in the comment section below. Anyway. All right. Don't get into too much trouble, or do. Always up to you. Toodles. Toodles.